Hey guys, this is Bix. Welcome to another version of Mentoring Monday. Each week I try to come up with uh, helpful topics. What could I talk about today that could help just about everybody? Well, hopefully most of us have jobs. At least if we want to work, then hopefully we have a job or we're looking for a job. Today's topic is going to be, do you love your job? This is going to be a two-part topic. Today will be mostly about um, warning signs that will help you determine if you need to find a new job. And then part two, we'll talk about how to find and do what you love. Have you ever heard the quote, if you truly love what you do, then you'll never work another day in your life? You spend a large part of your life working in a job, so if you really think about it, you got to find what you love to do. If you've not found it, keep trying. Don't settle. Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, once said, if you live each day as if it would be your last, then one day you certainly will be right. If today were the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm doing today? So when the answer is no, too many days in a row, then it's time to change something. Studies show that over 80% of the people in the workforce don't like their job. Wow, that's like a huge number. Why do they stay? Why do they not know when it's time to quit? How do you know when it's time to quit? So I'll talk about the seven warning signs that tell you when it's time to find a new job. One, when you get home at night and you find yourself constantly complaining about your coworker or your boss, you constantly bring this negativity home to your family. This cannot be fun for your family. Two, you dread going to work. When the alarm clock goes off in the morning, do you get excited or do you dread going to work? Do you look forward to hump day? Do you live for the weekends? I remember when I had a job that on Sundays, I start to get all bummed out thinking about going to work on Monday. This was not fun. Three, are you less productive at work than your home life? Are you bored and do you lack passion? Are you always checking your phone or finding another distraction to take your mind off of work? Four, you know that you're gonna be fired. I've had that feeling before, it's not good. The team is shrinking, the company's shrinking, the company's not performing according to projections. Maybe the job does not fit your talents, so you don't feel like you're performing at a satisfactory or above satisfactory level. Time to look ahead and do something before you get fired. Five, you feel stuck and hopeless. It's human nature that most of us need to grow. If you're not growing, you're dying. Maybe you've hit the glass ceiling on your job. You've nothing to look forward to. The job's not challenging enough and there is no upward mobility, so you're stuck. Six, you've become complacent. Basically, you become lazy. You settled and accepted your current situation, even though you're not happy. You might say something like, well, I don't have time to look for another job, or this job will do for now. I don't have to be the vice president of the company. Complacency comes from fear. We're afraid to grow and step out of our comfort zone, so we stay in a job that we're not happy. Remember, your comfort zone is your failure zone. And finally, number seven, you're not treated like a person. The company does not value you or possibly even all their employees. They don't appreciate your talent. You feel like a number on a punch card. Are you getting positive and constructive criticism? Are you getting coaching? Quite often, this type of company has very bad culture. Bad company culture is the number one reason people leave and also are not happy with their jobs. For the life of me, I can't figure out why many company owners 
don't focus on company culture, but many don't. So how many of these warning signs do you have? If you have four or five or more, then it's time to find a new job. I understand that quite often we cannot just quit our job. I used to say it's easier to find a job when you have a job. There's truth to that. When I would interview people, I grew concerned when they're not currently employed. Did they get fired? Why? Would I be hiring some other company's employee problem? It really depends on if you have a safety net and if you can afford to quit your job. Have you saved up six months of pay so you can have some runway time to find a new job? It really depends. Personally, I found myself exhibiting some or most of these seven warning signs one year before I eventually quit my job. So why one year, you might ask? Well, I was incredibly loyal. I still am. Sometimes a little to a fault. I think it just took me a while to realize I was not happy. Plus, I was a little stubborn. <laughs> my father would not let me quit anything that I committed to as a child. This non-quitter work ethic has stuck with me. Another rule I've always lived by is I felt like I needed to give each job at least two years. Six to 12 months to learn the job in the industry and another 12 to 18 months to get experience and to improve. I felt like two years was enough for me to know for sure. But truth be told, I never quit a job in under four years. But staying too long in a job that you don't like does not make sense either. So if you're experiencing four or five of these warning signs, it might be time to look for a new job. However, I do think you may have to go a little deeper. If you did not become a self-expert by knowing what you're passionate about and what is your purpose, you might not find a better job and a better fit. You might not know what it looks like. If you don't know your unique strengths and what you're good at, then you might not be able to find that job that you love. So next week, we'll talk about how to find the work you love to do. Just as important, if not more important, than knowing when it's time to quit your job. So until next week, this is Big signing off. And remember, it's never too late to reinvent yourself. Cheers.